the Tactical Family Channel. Today we have another episode on our ammo stockpiling series. This one will be a little bit different though because we're focusing on one type of ammunition and we also have a weapon to discuss a little bit about why I specifically picked out this ammunition and why I think this ammunition does offer benefits to many other people. So in front of us right here we have 140 shells of Remington's Managed Recoil Rifled Slugs. Now even though these slugs are rifled, they can be used in both rifled or bore barrels. And then here's the shell itself. As you guys can see, these ones specifically are in blue. Uh, it does have a one ounce slug, lead slug in there. As you guys can see, this has a muzzle velocity of 1200 FPS and a muzzle energy of 1397 uh, foot pounds. Um, these do cost a little bit more. They're about a buck twenty-five per shell, so we do have a little bit of a cost and um, jump there. But like I said, they do offer some benefits, and some of those benefits is obviously it's a managed recoil shell. So what does that mean? That means that they've designed this to have less recoil than your typical slugs. So how does less recoil benefit anybody? Well, for starters. I specifically get these ones for my fiance, and the reason why is because at the end of the day, the shotgun, um, I only fire at a 12 gauge. I know there's 410 and other gauges that, you know, are obviously um, have less recoil just in general, but I like the ballistics behind the 12 gauge, and I think that it's a very reliable weapon for home defense, for hunting, um, for many, many purposes. So. When my fiance fires it, obviously there's different types of buckshot, there's bird shot, there's different types of slugs, but your typical slug, your typical buckshot does produce a certain amount of recoil. And for her, having to fire it quickly or having to use it um, multiple times, you know it does get to her. So, having the managed recoil is one method to help reduce that. And there is a big difference, at least in my opinion on the difference between a one ounce normal slug and the one ounce reduced or managed reduced recoil slug. Um, I feel that it takes a good amount of that recoil away. She also agrees and for her she's a lot better with follow-ups and it doesn't get to her so quickly so right there that is a benefit within itself. Obviously you pay a little bit more for that but I think it's worth it. I think it will also come in handy for many people who are in relationships, um, whether it's their girlfriend, their wife, their fiance, also for, the, for those who may be on the older side. As we get older, you know, we tend to become susceptible to you know, recoil or different types of things. Maybe we had an accident, so we can't use that full power slug anymore, but we still like the benefit of the 12 gauge. This is a great option for you. This right here is my fiance's 12 gauge, Remington 870. Now, the other thing I've done to it is I went ahead several years ago and I purchased this stock right here. It's a kick light stock from Phoenix Technology. It's a six position collapsible, uh, but it has a spring in it, just the same type of concept as your standard AR semi-automatic rifle has it. Uh, they state that it does help reduce up to 50% recoil. So now I have two things helping with that recoil. And both of these together, I think, play a humongous part and make the 12 gauge very versatile for those who may not find it versatile with your standard stock and firing uh, standard slugs or even the big 3 inch slugs. Now. Using this with standard slugs, I still think that there is a benefit because me, myself, I even feel a difference from firing your standard stock slug, sorry, firing, having the standard stock on it with a standard slug compared to having this kick light slug, this kick light stock on it and firing a standard slug. At the end of the day, there's some difference. Now, when we jump up to those three inch ones, there is still a difference, but you're still going to get that big kick from it. However, like I said, this is one of my fiance's primary weapons. 
Um, I've known several people who like the 12 gauge, even older people themselves. But again, when it came to firing that slug, they started to really want to walk away from it. So to be able to maintain them and join their 12 gauge and the benefits that they see ballistically from the 12 gauge using a slug, you can combine two different things together to make it very manageable. The round itself, if you popped it in and fired it through a standard shotgun that had a standard stock, you're still going to notice that difference. But the combination between the two makes it very easy to fire it, even from somebody who is not good with a shotgun or who is afraid of a shotgun or who does not like the recoil, it really helps reduce that in my eyes and brings the 12 gauge to the table for those who may not necessarily like to use it due to the recoil they may be experienced or from things that they've heard. So this round right here, we're adding 140 shells to our ammo stockpile. It's about a buck 25 per shell. Mainly it's for our children and mainly it's for my fiance. Uh, it allows her to really get use out of the shotgun. It allows her to learn a lot of different types of uh, tactical things with the shotgun. It allows her to follow up shots very quickly, more easily on target. Um, oh, also this right here from Phoenix Technology, the kick light stock, comes in at about $89. So I don't think it's super expensive or anything like that. However, I must say at the end of the day, I think you should have everybody fire every typical type of shell that you believe they could come in contact with, or maybe you had your shotgun and it was loaded with what you prefer to use. At the end of the day, you still want everybody to experience um, each different type of either if it's a round or it's a shell because you want them to already know what to expect and for them to, even though they may not like it, it may hurt them, at least they know what's gonna happen when they pull that trigger. Thank you everybody for stopping by and checking out this video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Also give the video a thumbs up, thumbs down. It helps out with YouTube's algorithm. But other than that, you guys, look forward to more ammo, stocking, ammo stockpiling videos coming soon, along with other stuff. As you notice, we've been talking about some of the things that have been going on from the pandemic to the riots to all the different types of chaos that has been happening and how you can better be prepared and how you can uh, look for the foreseen future on things that are coming. So we'll be talking about some of those in some upcoming videos as well. You guys take care.